What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with a uh, quick update video on some earthquake activity ramping up uh, into the Canada region, Alberta area. Seen quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here uh, within the last couple hours. Um, looks like we're having a pretty good swarm of earthquakes. Again, in the Alberta region, this just coming in, the second largest earthquake ever recorded in the Alberta area, 5.3, coming into the Peace River area of Alberta, Canada. Uh, looks like these are some fairly shallow earthquakes on the eastern side here of the Rocky Mountains that kind of stretch obviously way up north. Um, and this is in an area of the North American Craton. Actually, it looks like it's uh, just around the uh, outer edges edges here a little bit or actually possibly within it um, so we don't see too much earthquake activity out here around this area of Alberta uh, or anywhere in Alberta for that matter so kind of a big deal I pulled up some uh, activity over the years uh, it looks like um, the 5.3 that kicked off today would be a tie for the largest earthquake um, in this region about uh 21 years ago, another 5.3 struck out here around the Dawson Creek area of the BC region. Um, and these go back here, it looks like a few years or so. Uh, let's see what we got for activity. And then it goes smaller as we get down. But it kind of looks like um, this 5.3 struck way over here. Uh, away from the region that we're looking at today. So uh, a little bit of developing movement kicking up here into the Alberta area. So far we've had four earthquakes. Um, we did have two earlier, 4.9 and a 4.6 within uh, basically within minutes of, it, of each other. And then in about an hour later, uh, the 5.3, one, the, one of the largest earthquakes recorded up here, uh, struck an hour later and then uh, looks like another 40 minutes later. Just now we had a 4.3 here uh, coming in this hour uh, in the same region. Same depth there be below the surface, about 10 kilometers deep. So uh, a, a lot going on here. Uh, I'm not 100% certain exactly what's going on with the uh, fault systems within this area. Let me see if I can pull up Earthquakes Canada here and see what we have. Quite a bit of movement kicking up here. Um, wow, let's see here. These guys, uh, these guys aren't really showing anything. Earthquakes Canada site, are they? 1124, that's a few days old. So it looks like these guys are kind of slow to uh, get in their reports, at least on the map. Um, they did report it up here, 5.2. This is that one that uh, kicked off. Uh, today, but there's a couple other earthquakes that are missing definitely off this map here. So uh, we'll stick with the USGS for now. Uh, reporting four earthquakes. The largest so uh, so far is a 5.3. It has been reviewed by a seismologist, so it is sticking. So again, this could be one of the largest earthquakes recorded there in the Alberta region, which was felt pretty much all over Fairview, uh, Peace River, Swan Hills, all the way down to the Fox Creek area. Just some light to moderate shaking uh, looks like being reported out there in that region. So if you're out there and you felt this earthquake, uh, let us know what it felt like. I'm kind of curious to see uh, if this was a jolt or rolling motion. How long did it last? Uh, because these earthquakes here are not very common um, at this level um, up against the uh, North American Craton here. Actually, about in inland of it. Um, because the North American Craton, maybe we'll cover that a little bit later tomorrow, kind of extends down here into the flat plains area. That's basically uh, stable plate dynamics for millions of years, supposedly. And uh, while everything around it kind of twists and turns and deforms, you know, you got the Rocky Mountains and areas uh, to the east down here, or the southeast, uh, Appalachian Mountains. So uh, not a uh, whole lot of earthquake activity happens up there. Uh, for sure in that region. Let me see what we got for the satellite imagery. Kind of curious to see what's out there besides a lot of uh, vegetation it looks like. 
Uh, 5.3 struck off of what are those? What are these little square boxes? Do they have a? Do they have oil pumping operations? Those actually just look like uh, some type of clearing. Uh, I would think. I'm not too familiar with this area, but look at that. It looks like there's um, something every thousand feet or so out there scattered about the land. Not for sure what these little facilities are out here. Are these Could these be oil pumping operations out here? If so, um, it would make sense with the earthquake activity. I'm going to have to look into this unless somebody else knows out here. These look like some type of refineries with some type of wastewater injection ponds out there. Wow. So if that's the case, that's kind of uh, some new development. It's all over the place. Look at that. This almost looks like Texas with all these um, operations going on. Wow. Goodness. I never knew. So, yeah. If you guys uh, know anything about this area and what kind of uh, refineries these are. These kind of look like refineries in a way. Let me know. Also, let me know if you felt this earthquake out there, folks. Kind of curious. We'll be back a little bit later tonight to cover everything. Of course, the activity on Mauna Loa, Mount, Mauna Loa continuing. Uh, I'm trying to get that uh, uh, Mauna Loa s s out correctly. Sometimes it comes out as Mauna Loa, but I'm trying to say the Mauna Loa area. And uh, that's what I'm working towards. So I appreciate the corrections there and the comments. And I do my best to pronounce everything uh, correctly the best I can out here. But all right, guys, we'll be back a little bit later tonight. Um, unless something major happens, that's actually some uh, some interesting development up there in the Canada area right now with that activity. All right, folks, stay safe.